In this month's film, I am stalking with my good friend and fellow club member James Schneider during the last few days of the season for females and the build-up to the eagerly anticipated Roebuck season. Aiming to bag himself one last deer for the pot before the end of the doe season, we're drawn back to a favoured spot which has delivered for us on more than one occasion. And only moments after entering the wood, we're in luck as we spot movement in the undergrowth up ahead. And of course, where there are bucks, there are usually does. And James wastes no time getting on the sticks and selecting a female as she steps out from the undergrowth just in front of us. With the roebuck remaining, even after the shot has been taken, I keep the camera rolling as these inquisitive little deer venture in for a closer examination of the intruders. Unlike other deer species who during the spring will soon be casting, Roebuck at this time of year are in velvet, and it's not often that this secretive little animal lets you get in this close. So James, what do you make of that one then? Uh, that was exciting. So she came, I, I, uh, we were coming right up through here, a lovely uh, bit of uh, ground. And there's always deer in this one little spot. And uh, so I saw just a bit of movement on the uh, doe coming through, and uh, I was waiting for she came up from these logs. And I thought she was going to keep moving on, so I gave a whistle. Luckily, I was able to squeeze off a nice shot in between these trees here. And then, sure enough, there's two beautiful bucks right behind her. One's a very nice six-point I saw. Uh, the other one, I believe, is a, a six-point as well. It might be a Yeah, I think you're right. And, and all in velvet as well. All in velvet. Absolutely fantastic. Came through here. Came up to probably no more than 20 feet from us. Uh, actually looked at us, confused. And then have just wandered off gently, smoothly, and have gone... Up down, they're probably just right up on the edge here. Well, they'll be there in a couple of weeks' time when oh, we start I'm the black season. Looking forward to May, season, absolutely, <laughs> definitely. I know where I'm going to be sitting in May as well. So, <laughs> well done, mate. Good Thank shooting. You. Yeah, Cheers. let's go check it out. Good shooting, mate. Well uh, done. Lovely. Where's your shot placement? Uh, it's uh, perfectly on the shoulder, exactly where I had thought. Uh, interesting on this, though, as you can see the exit wound here on the other side where I just turned her over. This is the entrance, which is nice and clean. You'll notice that she's a bit quartering on, though, as the shot has come through at a bit of an angle and exit slightly further back. Perfect lung shot, though, so it's a uh, it's actually, this is uh, this is exactly what you want to be doing, coming a little bit... Didn't far. have a lot of time to think about it though, James, no, did didn't. you? I didn't, but... <laughs> I mean, all of about five seconds, I think. Well, did you? This is what kind of happens in the brain. It's all, you know, rapid action, which is why we love the sport so much. Uh, the point on this, though, is the angle is exactly right. So the way she was quartering on is slightly forward to get that angle through, and you sort of slightly back uh, exit, but it's a, a, in the process you have taken a nice clean lung shot and she went straight Well down. done mate, yeah she dropped on the spot. Yeah. Great shooting, well done. Great stuff, thank you. Let's have a look at a few features of this deer. Okay so James has shot himself a nice uh, rodo here and it's a mature girl. Um, we can see that just simply from looking at the face actually and the weight of the body and the stature, the posture of the animal. Yeah, so we can see here that uh, we've got some really ground down teeth here and that's a sign of her being a little bit more mature. Notwithstanding, as you get better at spotting animals in the wild, you'll just simply recognise, just from the features of the face and the body, that this is a mature animal. So let's have a little look and see if James's shot is as good as we think. Okay, so this is a bit of a case in point here. We've got the heart from the roe deer. Sorry, a bit grisly this, but it's worth making the point. And we've got the shot, the bullet has come straight across the top of the heart, which is an eye on perfect shot. So what this demonstrates, I think, is even if it appears that your exit wound is too far back, having placed your entry wound further forward, the trajectory of the bullet 
or the terminal ballistics of the bullet means that the bullet has passed literally over exactly the point of aim where you should be aiming for. If you'd like to access some Roebuck stalking this summer, you may be interested to hear that County Deer Stalking's official members club, the Capriolis Club, has recently relaunched its groundbreaking plus scheme, which now offers its members both guided and unaccompanied stalking in the southeast of England over 22,000 acres of beautiful countryside, as well as unrivaled opportunities to hunt over a vast 100,000 acres in Europe. Contact the office on 0203 981 0159 or visit capriolisclub.co.uk forward slash plus scheme to find out more.